The Anomaly Synchronizer is an incredible tool that science can research and make that pretty much lets you automate anomalies. The Synchronizer is a tier 2 experimental research, so you can't quite get this round start. Um, I don't know if there's any stations that have the board map by round start, I'm just not all that up to date with the current mapping standards. But anyways, uh, rushing to tier 2 experimental is usually not that hard, and honestly doing so earlier is crazy, because you also get the experimental anomaly vessel, which makes anomalies generate more points. So these come together for a very good reason, you should make an experimental anomaly vessel, and then make a synchronizer, and then as long as the anomaly is in a decent place and is a safe anomaly, uh, you're good to go forever. Anyways, to make this, it isn't too hard. You just need two manipulators, five capacitors, five plasma glass, five low voltage cables, and, well, a machine frame. Uh, the plasma glass is really the only thing that's a problem, but you're going to have plasma anyway if you're making anomalies, so it's really a small cost. Once you make it, it will be this rather large machine that's actually... Uh, Kind of hard to tell exactly what tile it's on, but you just look for the center piece. Uh, you can unwrench it and move it. Uh, when you make it, it's obviously going to be anchored, but once you unwrench it, it's really easy to drag. It's very lightweight, so I'm bringing it to wherever the anomaly is. Very simple. Next, uh, to contain anomaly, of course, you're going to need your ape. Uh, to automate this, you're going to need a multi-tool, and you're going to want an anomaly scanner to do the anomaly. Other than that, that's pretty standard. Once you drag the synchronizer to the anomaly and you have your ape pointed at it, you just have to left click the synchronizer and it will pull the anomaly into the center of it so you should somewhat reposition it, not really, it's still in the same tile. You also need to make sure the synchronizer is, has power with LV cables, otherwise it will be useless. Next, you need to actually scan the anomaly to figure out how to automate it, and then once you know the correct particles, you're good to go. So it is growing, but we have plenty of time to sync this up. So we need to grab the multi-tool, left click the synchronizer, then left click the ape. This is, going to deter this is going to depend on what type of anomaly you have. So, if it is growing, we want to click Growing, On, Growing, Set Particle to the Containment Type, which in our case is Epsilon. And then we want to set Stabilize to Off, so once it's done growing, it will automatically tell the ape to stop shooting as soon as it hits Stable. However, sometimes it will overshoot it and it will set to Decaying. So for Decaying, we want to swap to Unstable Particles, so for Decaying, swap to Zeta. The king swapped to on. This is a bit of a fucking spider web, but this setup here will basically automate this anomaly forever. So now that we have done that, just a double check, it is all linked up. That's it. Uh, one, however, though, it needs to pulse in order to know it's growing. So you're probably going to have to do a little bit of manual containing to fully automate it. So since it was already growing, the ape doesn't know that. It um, just needs to see it swap. So I'll just set it back to stable. There we go, it is back to stable, and that's it. As long as no one sabotages this, the ape will automatically keep it in a stable configuration. So you could up the severity to like 90, uh, I wouldn't go to 90, you could up the severity to like 80% and just leave it. And unless someone sabotages it or something weird happens, it should last for a good long while. Anomalies do lose health over time every time they get hit by a containment particle, but as long as it was a somewhat healthy anomaly to begin with, it should automate for a solid probably the duration of a round, especially if you're playing on low roleplay. Otherwise, though, you still have the equipment, you can move it to another anomaly. I'm just going to let it pulse, you're probably not going to see it really do anything, but I guess it will show it. So if it pulses and it stays stable, the ape will do nothing. If it pulses and starts growing, it will automatically stabilize it. It stayed stable, so nothing happened. However, I can make it on purposely go into an unstable if I shoot it with epsilon particles. As soon as it hits unstable, or as soon as it hits decaying, sorry, because I was containing it, it will now start shooting it with unstable Zeta particles. I'm dying from this stupid anomaly. You didn't see that. As soon as it hits not decaying, it will turn off because it hits stable. So now if I accidentally uh, turn it into growing by hitting it with Zeta particles, you will see it automatically swap to Epsilon particles and stabilize it. So now that it is growing, the ape automatically turns back on and it will stabilize it. So it's even if you get in a weird state, it will automatically fix itself. We lost some health on the anomaly. You shouldn't manually touch it anymore at this point unless you're on purposely hitting it with dangerous particles because that doesn't affect the health of it. Um, but that's that's really it. This is an automated anomaly container and you could just kind of go do your own thing if somebody sabotages it. Hope to God they're not a self and tag. Otherwise, uh, you'll be sitting pretty. Hook it up to an experimental anomaly vessel, generate points, a shit ton of points with very little danger. The rock is taking damage, it does take some time, so if you're doing an on a rock anomaly, move the ape as close as possible rather than this far away, but it will shoot through it eventually, but 
just be cautious trying to automate the rock anomaly. Uh, if anything, uh, if you just put the ape right here, I don't even think rocks can grow in between it. So this wouldn't be an issue. But in case you mess up, it will still shoot through the rock. And just to let you know, the uh, blue space anomaly can still jump out of this. So don't try to automate the blue space anomaly. You can't do it. Anyways, that's really it. Uh, thank you guys for watching.